I first started um, the school about four years ago. The idea is to provide a conducive environment for today's learners, and that is referring to the digital natives. So we want to uh, create an environment which is natural to them, uh, something that they are very familiar with because we know that they all live with technology. So that's where we embark on the one-to-one -one ICT and able learning because we think that with technology, it brings in lots of potential which allows the students to go beyond what traditional textbooks or uh, the traditional teaching strategies could uh, uh, stretch them. So that's why we think that uh, yeah, technology is the way to go. Miss Lo is has a very exciting, very fun class. It's also very unpredictable. I remember um, once just stepped in, she went to the classroom and then told the whole class, "Today we're going to be killing cockroaches." And all of us were like, "Oh my gosh!" Okay. Um, what she did was she posted a link on our math blog and then um, told us to go to the site. And in the end, there was something to teach us about linear graphs. We type it down um, and we ob we'll observe what happens and you see what happens is by observing it we're able to um, remember it much more easily we actually like tried it ourselves and that makes it really easy to remember it's all it's become an experience rather than a concept to us and it becomes really easy to remember really easy to use and since when we want to you know figure out how to use it we just um, pop in our memory and there it is Other than being vanguards and evaluating technology, one of the key things that we as ADs ought to do or we are doing is to really develop our fellow colleagues in the area of pedagogy, in the area of learning, and we share with them uh, what we can use or how we can use technology to really strengthen that learning environment of students. So as we know the, the advantages, how we can make the classroom more collaborative and more porous, we hope to be that people to, to share this with our fellow colleagues. Research, I mean, it always teaches us in class, it has this, like, this conviction, and it tells us that there is never a direct cause to something, it's always because of this one small effect, and it grows and grows and grows, and as a result, when it gets too big, what happens is that there are consequences because of that. When we do research, you can't just skim through it, you can't just look at the surface, you can't be shallow, you have to go in depth. And like that, you'll be able to make, you're able to understand more clearly about that topic. You can't just judge a book by its cover like that. You just have to go read its contents. If never, nobody does that. Then how are we going to understand about the world around around us? Like integrated humanities, it's a subject where they teach us teach us that everything is connected. Everything. classroom we may not have access to a lot of instruments and equipment so by using the MacBook it allows us to uh, run simulators and run software that can emulate the, the actual device itself so it actually helps to uh, cut the cost down and it gives us a lot of flexibility in the implementation of our teaching in the classroom. My school really embraces technology and innovation in this way because it's really helpful because it really helps in our learning. I learn as 
as my students learn and we will continue to strive to innovate so as to prepare our students for the 21st century. As an Apple Distinguished Educator, I believe that I should be a role model who come with um, unconventional mindset, okay, uh, being innovative in the way I use technology to uh, bring about um, value-added learning experience to my students. Yeah. I'm really passionate about using technology, but I do not believe in using technology just to keep up with times. I believe that technology should be used or harnessed to strengthen students' learning in the various disciplines.